Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about simple lip sync editing. So we're going to talk basically about how you can use different Visine keyframes, uh, modify them uh, in your timeline, and also we'll blend in a little bit of auto motion as well and uh, talk a little bit about lip smoothing. So let's take a look at what we're dealing with first. Uh, the end result we want to kind of achieve is right here with this. Uh... Well, the good news is that you'll survive the operation. Now the bad news is that I'm not really a doctor. Okay, so we have a little bit of an announcement, energetic announcement at the beginning and kind of like a mumbling part at the end. Uh, we have this nice close-up of JP with uh, the comb over right here. We're going to go ahead and delete all the animation uh, so far to start from scratch. So let's press F3 and go into our timeline. And in your timeline, you can hold the Alt key and scroll your mouse button to zoom in and out just like this. Uh, I'm going to take these auto motions here that I've added and delete all of those. And now we just have a simple idle. If I click and drag up here, I can scrub through my timeline quite easily. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll close on the timeline right now. We want to apply our audio first. So let's go over here to our uh, motion animation tab and let's go into practice audio. And we have a doctor diagnosis audio file. We can uh, click there, double click that, and we'll select it in time. Well, the good news is that you'll survive the operation. Now the bad news is that I'm not really a doctor. Okay, so the lip syncing result is fairly decent, however we can improve upon this. But before we get into the lip sync editing, I'm going to add some simple auto motion just to kind of emphasize the uh, the emotion in this uh, announcement here. We have, you know, really zoomed in on JP's face here. You can actually click uh, this button over here and you can zoom in and out if you want to get a little bit further out so it's not so close up on his face. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the auto motions that we can add first. So we're going to go back to our animation root folder here. I'm going to press F3 one more time to go into my timeline. And the first part of the announcement... Well, the good news is that you'll survive the operation. Okay, so that part we want to have a little bit of a different energy uh, for that part. So let's right click here in the auto motion track on this clip and let's break it in half. Now we have other uh, tutorials that go into more detail on auto motion. So if you're uh, confused about this, I'd recommend checking those out. But basically this first part here, we want to apply an auto motion to this. So let's go into auto motion again in our animations tab. And we're going to go to scenario and under talk. And there's one called announcement because he's basically announcing something at the beginning. So it's kind of a more energetic. Um, well, the good news is that you'll survive the operation. All right, so there you go. And you can modify the uh, strength of that if you want, again, by going into your auto motion settings up here and changing the strength and uh, blending the motion clips. Right now it's blended in with a smile. You can probably take that down a little bit and uh, you can preview it. The good it. news is that you'll survive the operation. So he's not as well, smiley as he was before. Well, so we'll just apply that the, and we'll stop that because we don't want to hear him uh, continue to say the same thing over and over. Uh, this part here. Now the bad news. Where he's talking about the bad news, we want to have a, another auto motion. So when we broke that clip in two, we can apply different auto motions to each section here. Uh, this one we're going to use, there is one, uh, we can use this denial or avoidance. Uh, we'll use this mumbling one because you can tell from the expression on the icon's face, it's kind of uh, goes with what we're kind of... Now the bad news is that I'm not really a doctor. Trying to get across here, the uh, motion we're trying to get across. All right, so we've applied our auto motion. We're not going to do anything more with auto motion. Right now we're going to focus on the lip key editing. So again, I'm going to hold Alt and scroll my mouse button uh, in to zoom in on my timeline here. And the part we're going to focus on is where he's talking about survive the operation because the lip sync, automatic lip sync, wasn't too accurate in that case. So let's go ahead and play it back. Well, the good news is that you'll survive the op. Okay, so when he's saying survive the operation. So let's go and drag our timeline a little bit uh, further back here. We can just go over here. And we're saying survive. You'll survive. Survive. So you'll survive. survive starts right here. So look at we have all these... Uh, Basically, all these little uh, keyframes here in our lips track. If you don't see those, you can click on this voice arrow right here, and that'll reveal all of your uh, keyframes in your lips track. Um, so, basically, we want to we want to try to create a sort of survive uh, shape with his lips. So, we do have this S Z uh, keyframe here. This is kind of where we start. Let's delete this T L D one because we don't really need that right now. You just click on it and delete it. And this one, survive. This is where we're going to start. So, let's double click on this. And that'll open up your lips editor where you can replace all the different vising shapes. 
You can also go to Animation and Lips Editor or use the L hotkey. All right, so let's go ahead and play back. We'll survive the uh, so survive. That's where it starts. Here we want instead of a woo, uh, we want uh, like kind of like an er, so sir, like that. So it looks pretty similar. And we can add or decrease the level of expressiveness to get to kind of smooth it out, get the result we're looking for. All right, we'll just use something like this, and then this part where is the end of survive. Survive the right here. Survive the vive. We want to delete the current BMP that is there and take this I one. And we can actually keep that in the middle right here. And what we're going to do is right here before the I, we need a V uh, shape with our mouth. So let's just double click right here. And of course we still have the lips editor up here. We need to use the F and V visine shape. So let's go ahead and click that and keep our expressiveness at a level of a hundred. So from here, we're going to have a survive and then we need a V. Okay. So we need another V. So we can actually click. Uh, right click on this keyframe here and copy it and paste it over here. So survive and paste. All right. So survive the, and then we can just take that, uh, the, okay. So we have the survive the operation and operation. I want to modify that as well. So the operation, the operation, the operation, the operation. Okay. So right here is where operation starts and I'm going to click on this keyframe. So we have the, like an IH, that's this one over here, IH, it's kind of like you can use it for the as well. You can also use the E if you want, but uh, I find IH works pretty well. And uh, the, and then here we want an AH, uh, so we don't want to be too expressive. And then we need a P, BMP. This is pretty fast, uh, lip syncing here. He's, he's seeing operation pretty quickly, so we have a AH uh, per. And we have the R right there already, so we can bring it a little bit closer. Op. The operate. And then we need an A right here. We can use the IH or we can use uh, this one here, this A. Um, that's a little bit too expressive. So we have a operate and then we need a shun right here. So the shun can start with a sh, like a sh mouth shape, which you can also use this S and Z. So we have operate, whoops, operate. Shun. And then we need a N over here. So let's delete this CJ. Let's delete this Woo. Uh, we can actually keep that uh, Woo and take tone down the expressiveness a little bit to have like a SH. And then between here we can use the N. Uh, where is our N? Uh, TLDN. All right. And then use the expressiveness of 100 and delete that extra IH. And we should have operation. Okay, operate. This one here is a little bit early or a little bit late, I think. A shun. I'll take that woo out. I think that's kind of getting in the way there. So operate shun. And we'll bring this TLD up here as well. Operate shun. And bring that none up a little bit there as well. So operate shun. Okay. So let's go ahead and play that back. Survive the operation. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. You'll survive the operation. You'll survive the operation. Okay, so I think we've done that pretty accurately. And let's go ahead and close our lips editor right now. And what we can do now is we can actually modify the amount of, uh, kind of like the strength of the clips. Um, so I'll show you what, what I mean in just a sec here. So let's go ahead and go to the first uh, frame by pressing stop up here. And I'm going to hold Alt and scroll my mouse button to zoom out a little bit so we can see both of the clips right here. And what I'm going to do now is go up to Animation and Lip Options. So we're going to talk a little bit about this. We're going to cover the basics and we'll get into more details in future tutorials. But basically what you can do here is for each clip, you can modify the smoothness level and the clip strength. So if you want a certain part of your uh, dialogue or monologue to be stronger, uh, more expressive with the mouth shapes, you can also, as opposed to, you know, increasing the expressiveness for each individual keyframe, you can increase the clip strength. So let's go ahead and play this first part, part back here. Well, the good news is that you'll survive the operation. Okay. Now that's pretty expressive, but what we can do is we can click on clip strength and see what happens if we take our clip strength down to like 0.1 or 0.2 and select apply. You can see our mouth shape changes already, and it adds this smooth clip right here. All right, so let's go ahead and play that back. 
Well, the good news is that you'll survive the operation. Okay, so you, there's not as much uh, expressiveness in his uh, in his voice. Let's try to take it down to zero, and you can see it'll... Well, the good news is... It'll take it all the way down. So what we can do here is because he's making an announcement, we want to increase that clip strength right there and apply it. And now he'll be very expressive. Well, the good news is that you'll survive the operation. Okay, and you can see it's a little bit energetic. So what we can do is, at this point here, we can smooth it out a little bit as well. So especially this part right here. That you'll survive the operation. Okay, what if we wanted to kind of smooth that out a little bit? Let's go ahead and click the smooth uh, box right here. And let's increase that smoothing to 5 and select apply. So when we do that, it's going to be a little bit smoother. Well, the good news is that you'll survive the operation. You can notice that it's not as jerky as it was before. If we take the smoothing down to 1, for example, and apply that one more time, let's go ahead and play back. Well, the good news is that you'll survive the operation. Especially that area where we modified all the keyframes, we added in extra keyframes there, you can notice that it's a lot less smooth. And we can take the smoothing off completely and apply one more time. Well, the good news is that you'll survive the operation. You can notice it's a lot, a lot more jerky at that point. We want to kind of try to smooth that out a little bit. So let's uh, click the smooth and let's bring it up to like two. And I think that gives us the best results right there. Well, the good news is that you'll survive the operation. Okay, so I think it's still pretty, it's the kind of happy medium between too smooth or smooth and energetic. So we have a pretty natural looking um, expression right there. And then the second part, you know, because he's kind of mumbling right here. Now the bad news is that I'm not really a doctor. Okay, so that lip sync is fairly accurate. Um, let's go ahead and just take this, click on that uh, clip right here, make sure we have the right one selected. And we can just go to smooth. And we can take the clip strength down a little bit maybe to 0.7, and smooth that up to uh, 4 maybe, and apply that. Now the bad news is that I'm not really a doctor. Okay, maybe smooth that out a little bit more. Make sure that your playhead is over the clip that you're editing, by the way, otherwise it won't show up here. And we'll go ahead and apply that. You can see the lip strength, uh, or the lip shape automatically changes right there. Now the bad news is that I'm not really a doctor. Okay, maybe a little bit too smooth. We'll take it to a four. I think that'll be a good level. And you can see. Now the bad news is that I'm not really a doctor. Okay, so that's a lot, a uh, lot more of a mumbling type of uh, look right there. A mumbling type of result. Um, and if we wanted to, we can take that clip strength up a little bit. I think. And just apply that. Now the bad news is that I'm not really a doctor. Okay, so pretty good. And that's how you can kind of use lip smoothing um, to. You know, kind of change your character's uh, lip results, lip syncing results from more of a shouting to kind of a more of a mumbling. Um, you can decrease the clip strength and increase the smoothing in combination to get that results. So here's our end result. We can also go ahead, uh, just a little tip here at the end, we can go to edit. We can have our character look at the camera if we want. We currently have look at camera selected. If we have it deselected and we scrub through our timeline, you can notice that he'll look out, look over here. At one point, he'll look over here. And uh, if we wanted him to look at the camera the entire time, we can go ahead and look at camera, and he'll no longer look over to the side. And we can adjust the level to the head, so his head will always be facing the camera. That'll take away a lot of the head movement. He'll still have the shoulder movement, but it'll take away a lot of the head movement. And if we change it to uh, more of an eye uh, strength right there, you can see he'll still have a lot of head movement, but his eyes will remain focused on the camera. And this is cool because you can also use this uh, rotate tool and you can rotate your character and he'll kind of like, uh, um, oops, we can script through the timeline here and he'll continue to look at the camera. We just added a transform there. So even though our character is uh, turning, notice there's a keyframe right here because that's where I changed the uh, rotation of my character. He'll slowly rotate over here and then he will still remain looking at the camera. All right, so let's go ahead and just play that back one more time. Well, the good news is that you'll survive the operation. Now the bad news is that I'm not really a doctor. Okay, so he's kind of shyly kind of turning away as he's, uh, you know, saying the latter part of his monologue there where he's not really a doctor. He has a mumbling type of lip sync and his transform position is kind of to the side, so he's more a little bit ashamed. Okay, so you can use all that stuff in combination to create the lip sync results you're looking for. So that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks so much for watching. 
And make sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com. We have a lot of cool, uh, crazy talk users sharing their uh, work and everything there as well. And I'll see you next time.